from her in the 90s. Where is Pat now? Can you help us? Hey, Ron and Lynn, we found her. No, you didn't mess with Pat Benatar. She was Rock's original tough girl, breaking all the rules and paving the way for the next generation of women in rock. The Brooklyn-born rocker burst onto the scene in 1979, releasing her debut LP, In the Heat of the Night. The album contained her first top 40 single, Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker, dream maker, love taker, don't you mess around with me. The following year, Pat broke big. She released the multi-platinum, Crimes of Passion. Hit Me With Your Best Shot, her signature song, went top 10. She even took home a Grammy. Pat was a bona fide superstar. As a result, record execs were finally convinced that women in hard rock could be a commercial force. The minute they saw that this would be a money-making proposition, then everyone said, oh, women rockers, yes. <laughs> this is what we need for 1980. Yep, the 80s were good to Pat Benatar. She racked up a string of hit singles, including 1983's top five hit, Love is a Battlefield. Love is a Battlefield. She took the lead in the dance heavy video, but not without a few reservations. The thing you don't know is it took me like 16 hours to learn, you know, 15 steps. It was ridiculous. As the decade rolled on, Pat scored two more top ten singles. We Belong went to number five in 1985. Eight months later, Invincible, the theme song for the forgettable flick The Legend of Billie Jean, hit number 10. In 1988, Pat landed her last top 40 single. Then she made way for the 90s. So where is Pat Benatar now? She's taking the 80s act out for another spin. In 1999, she hit the road in support of her newest release, Synchronistic Wanderings, a box set celebrating two decades of straight-up rock, Benatar style. We put together this compilation of everything and things that, you know, people haven't heard yet on release stuff, and it was really fun. Pat may be a nostalgia act to some, but one record company's betting she's got what it takes to make it in the new millennium. We're signed to Sony now, a new record label, and we're making a new record. So we're in the studio now, having fun going nuts, you know. Though she hasn't had a hit in more than a decade, Pat continues to be a force in women's music, touring with Lilith Fair in 1997. When I did Lilith Fair, I watched the women, and I was amazed to see how comfortable and self-assured and poised they were. I was so proud to be, have been part of what went before that. We waited 20 years for this. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so glad you're all here. With all her musical achievements, Pat is most proud of her 18-year marriage to writing partner and guitarist Neil Giraldo. The rock and roll couple are the parents of two daughters. Don't worry, being a mom hasn't mellowed Pat one bit. Being someone's mother makes you fierce. Everything else becomes, you know, secondary. In 2000, Pat combined her love of kids and rock, covering Tim Buck 3's classic, The Future So Bright, I Gotta Wear Shades for the Disney video, an extremely goofy movie. Sure, she's been off the charts for a decade, but she wouldn't trade her new life to relive her 80s glory. I enjoyed tremendous success, and it was wonderful when it was happening, but I much prefer the way that it is now. Life is sweet.